Hey, here's part two of my favorite comic book movies. So, number five is Man of Steel. Yeah, I know some people are probably saying, oh, how can you choose this movie? This movie sucks. No, it doesn't. It's a divisive movie. And, ooh, people hate divisiveness. Ooh, we can't, can't be divisive about the movie. No, can we? No, 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 no. But I honestly think this movie is really good. The... Uh, Again, it's an action movie, so gotta go first with fight sequences. Fight sequences in the movie are really good to me because unlike some movies, even the MCU, they're pulled back enough so you can really make out the action and it's just boom, boom, it's quick enough so that you're constantly seeing the action, but also it's steady that you can actually see what's going on instead of quick cut, quick cut, quick cut, quick cut. And so... I like that, and not to mention, like I said in a, in a different top 10, we finally got a knockdown, drag out, fist flying super fight in the middle of Smallville and in the middle of Metropolis. And, and we finally got that after, what, 10 years of Smallville teasing us with that and never delivering? This movie delivered, and it was really cool. Not to mention the fact that Superman had doubt. He wasn't a true justice in the American way. No, he had to discover himself in a sense. And I like that self-discovery. And Henry Cavill did a really good job playing a man who's kind of stuck because it's a story of an immigrant trying to figure out where do I belong? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Am I doing the right thing? And so I thought that was done very well. I really like this movie. And for a while, though, this was actually number four on my list. But a different mo a movie came out that usurped it. And that is the number four movie on my list, which is Black Panther. Black Panther was so good. I mean, Michael B. Jordan and Chadwick Boseman did phenomenally as in the Jaka and T'Challa. I really like both these actors. Not to mention Shuri, Nakia. Uh, Umbaku, Okoye, oh, so many different memorable and likable characters. Great story, great uh, moral dilemma of do you actually, can you actually decide, choose in, uh, in the Chaka's side? Because what he says is true in a way, and it's just that he goes too far in his ideology. And if if he had pulled back a little bit, maybe it would have been a lot better. But I really like this movie. It's probably my second favorite Marvel movie. My favorite one will come up later. And so I really can't say enough about Black Panther because it was such a good movie that when what happened at the end of... Well, spoilers for... Or uh, Infinity War. At the end, when all these people were dying and T'Challa was killed, I was being killed, and I was like, No, not T'Challa, you bastard! And so, yeah, I was, I was, I was pissed. <laughs> but I was like, oh, No, 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 he'll, he'll be back, he'll be back. No, don't worry, they're gonna bring him back, right? So, yeah, great movie, and really made you care about the characters and like them. So, yeah, I had to put it on the list. But it. Couldn't crack the top three, which number three is Logan. This is my favorite movie with the X-Men characters in it. This is my favorite. It's a very personal story. And it's one of those grizzled, grizzled man protects a girl, a little girl kind of story. Even though the girl can protect herself and is kind of a badass in her own way. But... They really, like I said in my review, they knocked uh, Logan down, knocked Jane Howlett down to such a level that when he starts bringing back up, you really feel it and you really care about him. You want to see him succeed. And the whole ending sequence is just a tearjerker moment. If you're not strong like I am, you're going to cry. And it's very well done, well paced, and... Logan and Charles Xavier looking after Laura was actually very believable and I really like the scene where it's just the three of them and another family eating dinner. It's like it's a nice little scene that's kind of kind of nice and 
the scene, well, you know, I, know I, I shouldn't even say it, but it's been out over here. But when Charles is talking to who he thinks is Logan and pouring his heart out, it's such a heartbreaker moment. Heart, and it's uh, such a good movie, though. I have it on Blu-ray, too. I should watch that. So. But yeah, great movie. Anyway, number two on my list is Captain America Civil War. This is my favorite MCU movie right here. Captain America Civil War is, again, a very personal story. And it finally does something that so many other movies in the MCU don't really talk about. And that's consequences. There were consequences for destroying New York, Sokovia, Harlem, and so many, uh, Washington, so many other places. Oh, the, little, the town in... I think it was Arizona where Thor's hammer was. They barely mentioned the first Avengers movie, but they're finally talking about all this destruction that was going on, which is kind of interesting because people talk crap all about Man of Steel, but they didn't. But they completely forgave all the destruction in the MCU. But that's a discussion for another day. But anyways, the whole idea of should superheroes be registered? Should what sort of oversight should they have? And should they have more oversight? It's a very good discussion. Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans do a great job debating it and fighting against each other. And it has one of my favorite fights, that two-on-one handicap match between uh, Steve Rogers and Bucky Barnes versus Tony Stark. Notice I said the the secret identities and not the, act, not the superhero names because... When you really you know, really think about it, that's what the match is. That's what that fight is. It's two guys, and one guy protecting his friend against another person who thought he was his friend. And that whole reveal was done very well, and I really liked how uh, Black Widow is basically us. So she's shifting loyalties in a sense that she doesn't know if she's doing the right thing. Is, it, is this right? Should we go here? It's, and it's done very well, and I really like this movie. Great movie, I thought. But didn't make number one. It was not number one. What's my favorite comic book movie? That is The Dark Knight. Why so serious? It's another movie where the villain really steals the show, but man, what a great villain. I mean, I remember Heath Ledger well, being announced as the Joker, so many people thought it was going to suck and he was not going to be good enough. But then they watched, they watched that movie and there were so many servings of humble pie <laughs> being served by that movie to its critics because, my God, he was so good in that movie. Not to mention, you had Christian Bale doing a good job of, again, trying to not be Batman anymore. That's one thing I liked about this trilogy is that they acknowledge that Bruce Wayne cannot do this forever. He has to be able to stand to stand down and let somebody else be the protector of Gotham. That whole scene we were talking to Rachel Doss about Harvey's the hero that Gotham needs and him trying to help Harvey uh, bring the mob to justice was done very uh, done well because it felt like he's doing it not just for Gotham but for himself. And so that he doesn't have to be Batman anymore. And the Joker is just chaos personified. But at the same time, he's us in a sense. That he, who, in his mind, and what he's showing is that he's who we are. What our rules and our morals and code prevent us from being him. And that great line is, to, when the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. It's great. And my favorite scene is where he talks to Dent after Dent, after Dent gets half his face burnt off. Where he does a whole spiel about chaos and how he, and what he did to Gotham. And the only, you know, introduced a little anarchy. That whole thing. I That's my favorite scene. I like that scene so much. And it, you really... And, I forget the actor's name. Aaron, Aaron Eckhart, I think. Aaron Eckhart. I think that's his name. He does a great job as uh, Harvey Dent. And that look in his eyes as he listens to the Joker. And he's not trying to attack him as he speaks. 
it, it really shows that he's actually thinking that maybe the Joker's right. And that was what I really liked about it because it's not, it's not, oh, he's evil just because he's evil. No, in his mind, he's always, he's always uh, got a, a plan without actually needing a plan. He knows humanity so he can always be one step ahead of, uh, of his opponent. And I thought that was a really cool way to present the Joker. That's how I took the Joker anyways. So, yeah, great villain. Great, uh, great hero, great characters, and man, this movie is over ten years old. It's and no movie has beaten it, in my opinion, as being better than The Dark Knight. But I want to know what you think. What's your favorite comic book movie? And so let me know in the comments. And there have been a lot of um, comic book movies, but there have also been a lot of things on TV when it comes to comic books. Little hint for my next top 10. So take care. Later.